Hi guys, it's Raven Scry. Today I'm feeling just to connect in with spirit uh, and give some messages from spirit. They may be collective messages, they may be private, but more personal messages. So I'm just going to open now and connect in to whatever it is that spirit wishes to share with you guys today. So as I connect now, uh, spirit's bringing through a very clearly a birthday cake. Uh, strong reference to a birthday. They're showing me the cake and they're showing me the icing on this cake. Now there's a man standing to the side uh, of this this cake and he has his, his arms crossed. So I feel as though they're referencing this birthday and this connection to this man. Now Spirit's talking about waiting here and waiting too long. It's like in some way there's some period... Uh, of waiting taking place in this scene uh, and they're wanting to bring attention to it. Uh, now, now the way that this is coming through, there's this emptiness around this scene. Uh, it's like moving in one direction, moving in another, and I can't really move outside. It's, there's a sense of stuck within something that's taken place here. So I'm going to ask Spirit... Um, I'm going to ask Spirit for a message here. If you feel as though this is resonating with you, uh, this message will come through for you. Uh, so as I ask for a message here, uh, it's like this is overdue, this waiting is overdue. It's like there has to be some change implemented here. Um, it's like I feel as though this resonates, with, like I'm seeing now a woman, uh, an older woman, in energy and it's like she's sad and she's a bit stuck in something that's happened and not moving on, not moving on from the pain or the trauma or the sadness in some way. Um, but it's like spirit strongly impresses that it's time to move on and it feels in connection with this man that stands here uh, at this, this scene with the cake. It's like, you know, he's present and he's saying it's time to move on from this scene. So with lots of love and blessings, I'm going to leave that message with you now, whoever this is resonating with, and I'm going to move along. Now I'm being shown reference to a young boy. Uh, I'm getting the age at around eight, uh, and he's running and playing. Uh, he's on his little tricycle, his little bike, and he's having a beautiful time uh, playing in the way that this is coming through. And I can see connection to his mother, his mother with sort of lighter hair. Uh, she stands stands quite closely uh, beside him now. Uh, and they're giving me reference to some sort of a trip and they're showing me reference to the Eiffel Tower uh, in connection to this, this scene. Uh, now, as I ask Spirit, for a message here. Uh, they're showing me the partner of this family. They're showing me uh, a man who is away. It's like he's away on a work trip. There's some connection to um, the Eiffel Tower that, that they keep showing. And it's interesting because now they're, they're showing me a movie. Uh, I think the movie has Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan in it where they meet uh, they've never met each other and they meet on the top of this tower. So this kind of connection to a love story uh, is is what they're impressing upon me. And they're showing me reference to a period of time uh, and although certain things may be difficult, um, certain ways that there's separation between family and loved ones, it's like, it's like the love's still there. And there may be times of separation, but the bond is very, very strong. And spirit really wants to emphasize the strength of this bond that you have. Okay, so as I move along, I'm going to ask spirit for a name now. Uh, and we're going to connect through a name. Now, the name that they're giving me is Tony or something that sounds a lot like Tony. Uh, I'm seeing a kind of a middle-aged looking man. Well, not middle, maybe a little bit younger, uh, kind of tight, dark, curlyish hair, um, a solid build of a man uh, in reference to the name Tony. Now I ask Spirit what they wish to give in regards to 
to this man, Tony. Uh, this may be you who the, the reading is for. Uh, this could be in many different ways this is coming through and I'm not going to try to sort of tell you how it is because I don't know. Uh, usually the person who the message is for is the one that makes sense uh, of what's coming through. Okay, so two sisters I'm hearing. Tony, two sisters and one has passed, okay, one has passed, there's one in the spirit, wor spirit world, uh, longer hair, a beautiful, soft woman, wise woman with longer hair, um, is wanting to come through and share, uh, share today. Now, when she was living on earth, she was, you know, she'd get in amongst it, she was strong, you know, she wouldn't be afraid to, you know, get her hands dirty would be the way that they're showing it to me. And I look at her hands and they look worn, you know, they've worked hard in the time that she was living on earth. Uh, and interestingly enough, she's also relating to separation, uh, and separation between the two and the two sisters is what she's saying, and she was one of them. Now they show, um, or she shows, spirit shows, I'm being shown, uh, reference to the other sister, and it's like she's struggling. Uh, there's this sense of her bent over, there's, a, there's this sense of internalising and struggling a lot, uh, and it's like she's wanting to remind uh, whether it is Tony or remind this male that it is his sisters we're talking about. And I feel as though this message is for a male. Um, and just remind him uh, of, of her struggle, reach out. She's wanting him to reach out and, you know, she's showing hold, hold her hand, but that's a, just a gesture of support, essentially. Uh, and that he just needs to know where she's at. But I'm just going to leave her love with you, beautiful, strong woman. She's right there, present with you um, in spirit. Okay, now I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, and I'm going to ask spirit to show me something uh, that one of you has been doing. And we're going to start the reading that way. Now they're showing me straight off the bat, they're showing me pot plants, a uh, big pot with long bent leaves coming out of the top in all directions, uh, beautiful green leaves, uh, and they're showing somebody watering, uh, watering this, this plant and taking great care in doing so. Now, I also feel a reference to um, this garden, and there is edible things in this garden. I'm seeing red references to fruit, uh, and like a basket to pick some of these these things in this garden. So if this is something that you've been doing, um, this message will be for you. Uh, now, the name that's coming straight in is John. Uh, now, sometimes with names, they can either be exactly right or they can sound similar. And sounding similar to the name John, uh, starting with a J, uh, one syllable. Okay, so we've got the garden, someone that's been in the garden today, and John coming into the picture. Uh, John coming in with a message, I feel as though he's an older man. Um, and when I say father, no, I don't necessarily feel father. I feel like he's more grandfatherly energy in the way that his energy comes comes through. Now, he's also um, got his partner, I believe, in the spirit world also um, standing quite close, uh, just observing. She's not taking up a lot of space uh, and she just stands by him with support. Now, as I connect to John's energy, he's talking about flying planes. He's talking about, you know, he was quite an intelligent man when he lived on Earth, uh, but he's talking about planes, and he's also talking about plane crashes. Um, he's showing me a scene of a plane, someone flying. Now, he feels like... He has some connection to flight in some way, but he's showing me this this plane and it's moving along and then it just goes down. Uh, in the way that he shows it to me, it's a smaller plane, um, but I'm not going to go too deep into the details. I'm going to just leave it back a little bit 
because uh, I don't want to crowd or overwhelm the information. So John's talking about a reference to some kind of plane crash here. Uh, now, he's also giving me the number 70. Now, I feel as though this is an age, the age of 70, uh, but he's showing me this and it almost feels like it's something that he's remembering, something that he's recalling to share this information with you here. Um, and now he's referencing like a lot of jet planes. It's like he was in the army uh, and he's showing me his, his uniform, these greens, he's got his badges. He's very proud um, of, of, you know, his time in the army or it could be the Air Force uh, but there's a strong green colouring uh, and a very military kind of sense that I get here. He's very proud um, and he's just remembering that fondly. Now I ask John, is it, does he have a message for this person who's been in the garden uh, with their beautiful garden? Um, he's talking about there's been a distance between you. You know, there's been this sense of, again, we're talking about separation. Okay, there's a lot of that coming through this uh, these readings, but this sense of family, um, it feels as though it's this family connection, but he's so far away, you know, there's this, this gap but in between uh, you and him, um, but he recognises the connection there and he's just wanting to share to share that with you and it's like he knows that sometimes you feel like you're not seen or you're not even noticed by him or when he was on the earth, you you know, like he didn't notice you. It felt like you were sort of missed. This is the way the feeling comes through. But he's wanting to send his love to you and say that even though you're very different, you know, there's, a, there's strong differences between you, he still recognises you and the gifts that you have. And he very much honours this connection that you have to the earth and to your garden and he sends his love to you. Okay, so I'm going to move along to one last message. Uh, I'm feeling like spirits wanting to wind up, uh, and I'm feeling it in my body like I need to wind up through this experience. I just wanted to keep it short and sweet, but it seems to go on longer uh, when I start this whole uh, connection and mediumship in this way. Um, but anyway, one more, one more. And I, I've got an older man again coming through and he's saying 20, 20, 20. He's showing me 20 cent pieces. Um, he's showing me that it's like he's showing me reference to the stock exchange, the big walls of numbers uh, and watching how these numbers are changing. Um and he just says 20, 20, 20, and then he's showing down drop. He's showing a down drop uh, and as he watches um, this, this big kind of wall of stocks, it looks like. So I feel as though he's quite direct, this man. I'm just going to ask him strongly for a message. He's saying that the train hasn't left yet, but there's a longer way to go um, until up. So he shows me a train, there's a longer way to go, and it's like he's showing me a timeline, we're going further, 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 and then up. Um, and I ask, okay, is there anything more that you can give other than just that? He's showing me like a funnel and dripping water or dripping liquid into a funnel. It's like drip feeding something. Um, so slow and steady drip feeding uh, is his message. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there for the readings today. I found it interesting the way there was this separation theme that kept coming through the individual readings. In my experience doing mediumship, uh, it's like often um, similarities and similar themes and connections come into uh, like a a, like readings one after the next after the next and it's interesting to to observe that um, and reflect on that after the messages have been given okay guys I hope that you've enjoyed today's video and I trust that the messages will will get to the right ears so if you feel to comment feel to share feel to reflect please do so down below in the comments 
and I will see you guys again soon. Ravenscry signing off.